Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 80 of the Red Force Podcast. My name is Eric Tolado. Joining me today is Christian Tolado. We're recording this one late, late at night. Well, not that late at night. What is it like? 7 o'clock? After dinner? After dinner. After a f- f- pasta filled dinner? So we might, might be a little subdued, a little tired. What have we got this week, Christian? We got the chapter. We got. Tash Shogu Shanks. Yes. Cool. We got questions. So many questions. Alright, so many questions. We got the power scale. We got, we got it all. But before we get all to that, Christian, we want to thank our patron supporters. Patrons. I want to thank Anthony, Christian, Not me, Don Island. The new one. Gut Smash Casca, Henry, Jordan Lee, Nylock, Ronald. What is it? Ronald. Ro- just Ronald and Ty Lister. Appreciate you. We appreciate you. Every uh, dollar counts towards g- increasing the quality of the show. We're always looking for new technology. Five bucks gets you the show early. Always find a new technology. On the search of new technology. Uh, buy shit. Links in the description. So, yeah, you, know, you know where to get it. Alright. Adam A. The thing people want to talk about. Talk of the town. What do you want to say? <laughs> they can try so hard, but they can't fix the pacing. That's my comment. They tried very hard. Great animation. Japan is coming together to animate this. I was watching a video about where all the animators are coming from. They're working hard. Freelance animators coming from all over the joint. We've got top quality action guys for that Zora bit. We've got top quality slice of life guys for the... Uh, the food bit in the cafe. Top, got, qu- top quality life is slice lo- lo- of life. life. What? We got top top quality storyboarders doing overhead shots, doing all kinds of interesting angles. Everyone's coming together for this for this one, though, right? Japan knows they have to get this right. Yes. But can they fix the pacing? No, they can't. Can they add extra scenes in? Yes, they can. And they did here. It all makes sense. It's all good. Good time. Great episode. Not like, you know, good episode. You know, just the start I of I feel one. like, uh, I don't know, it's fine. Overhyped, but for sure. But better, better. Far better. Extreme. Is it better? It's better. Improve it. F- drastic improvement. That's what I'm sure. saying. That's what we appreciate. That's where the hype comes from. Maybe people can actually watch the anime now. It's gone from... Week to week garbage and occasional greatness to consistency. Okay. Right. There you go. We're talking about this chapter. Well, we still got more news to talk about. Oh, we got news. What news do we have? Pirate Warriors 4. Okay. Announcement. Whole cake owned in some sort of promotion. We didn't think it would happen. The early one. Big Mom, somehow, the main promotion of this game. Not Katakuri. Not Katakuri. Katakuri's going to be in this game. And if Katakuri is in this game... How do you, feel, how do you feel that Katakuri wasn't the promotional material Yeah, yeah. that Mingo was? Well, Mingo lasted for so long. Because Zoro's not a, you know, Zoro. He's the, you know, he's the villain for Zoro. And, uh, Dressrosa lasted an eternity. Also, he's kind of in Punk Hazard, you could say. That, we're, yeah. we're getting lingering Dressrosa content during Whole Cake Island. Exactly. Like, uh, Burning Blood... Didn't have any whole cake content. You know. Katakuri will be playable. I hope so. If they don't Kuri, do it, Kuri what do they theorizes do? that Katakuri will He should be. I don't know why he shouldn't be. I mean, he's got a fight card with Luffy. You'd imagine but, he'd be. I don't know, man. Pirate War. Uh, bloody Musou games. You know. uh, speaking of the anime, I us in the new opening. Good song. Good song, good opening. Reminds me of classic. Some, some stupid songs. people don't like the song. Because it's not boy bandy enough. It's okay. not. You know, Japanese pop rock enough. Alright? They don't like it. Sure. To those people, I say, you're stupid. Alright. Superpowers was the worst song I've ever heard in my life. Okay. Bad song, bad opening. Shout out to people interpreting the opening. Oh, here we go. Here we go with the Denjiro spoilers. This doesn't confirm anything. You can't say something in spoilers if it hasn't been confirmed. I'll say this. 
If it is true, then Jiro would have to be a specific mask wearing individual. Or some sort of kind of devil or form changing devil. Some fruit. kind of some kind of illusions going on. Well, we know for there Kirishiro are... For Kirishiro to be Denjiro. We all know there are... Because contextually, if they look exactly the same, it makes no sense. Well, we do know that they're all based off yokai. Yes. And surely there's some sort of appearance-changing, body-morphing yokai out there. But anyway. So, if that's true, there's a lot to talk about there. Very interesting twist. Uh, we've, we've talked about that before. Uh, it's possible. Uh, there's some logistical problems. Why doesn't he... He seems like he's in it for himself. He's had multiple chances to kill Orochi. He's not really... Well, I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's there for the... But he roasts Orochi for the prophecy. Yeah, crucially. To other, to other random goons. He's playing the part so when the night of the festival comes and the, moon, and the full mask, full under the so full light of the moon. So he's playing the long game. He's waiting for the prophecy. He's playing the long game and 100% believes in the prophecy. Sure. Even though he wasn't there to, to witness it. He's not asked for a doji. He Maybe doesn't he believe was. in the prophecy. Maybe he was. You don't know where it was. There you go. Right. Should we get into the chapter? Chapter 948 nine, Kawamatsu the Kappa. It's gonna be one of those chapters that's lost into the ether, right? Well we get a character reveal here. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be remembered for. Okay. Uh we get finally. After all these years. A new cover story. Capone. Capone. Alright. What, what do we expect? What do you want? Where is my senior pink cover story, Oda? Where is it? Okay. On the journey of redemption after his fight with Frankie, where is it? Okay. Where would it be seen? Disappointment. Now, what realistically is this cover story going to lead up to? Caesar? Some sort of Caesar reveal? Judge, maybe? Nah, that, that, has, to be, that has to be left in the air for the actual story. It can't be too big. It has to be something small, something nice. Uh huh. Maybe at the end of the cover story, he ends up at the water waterfall. <laughs> oh, alright. Who knows? Maybe it's like we decided to chase Straw Hat. Maybe it's like they find Lola. It's probably going to be they find Lola, right? Okay. That's my, that's my prediction. Lola. There we go. Re- reunion with Lola in the new world. And Somewhere. she's married or something. She's married to uh, some random guy. One of the zombie guys. Who knows? Hold on. Maybe, maybe he, she's married to Duval. <laughs> All in right. a twist. There we go. Married in the last two weeks. Sure. You know? What about Wanze? What, what about Wanze, you know? All right, we, <laughs> we got this dog here having a, having a look around. Right? Sure. She's going to annoy us the whole episode. No what doubt. we have to do with it? All right. Now, let's just get into this chapter. Luffy finding goons, trying to use slash master Ryo. We get to see the aura. It's forming. It's coming. It's coming. It's going to eventually arrive. All right. Guess what Kiku says. Guess what Kiku says. What? We have to save Big Mom. Oh, Oh, who would have called it? Chopper's like, Nani. Chopper's like, no, we don't. I, I get the. I get the lid, she says, because she's not big mom. Exactly. We, we're going to save our lid. We called this. It's going to set up the seeds for this alliance. Uh, for this big mom pirate alliance. We'll wait and see on we'll this. We'll wait and see on this. We'll, 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 okay. put it, we'll put it on the back burner. It's simmering in the background. All right, it's simmering. We'll the find out. The stew is being made, Christian. Uh, it's been cooked, all right? Some people don't like the smell of this pot. <laughs> I don't like but it. We got the roast. We got the roast chicken in the oven. We got the potatoes. We got we got kind of cooking cooking in the background. Yeah. Right? We got we got we got multiple. But this pot simmering. It's a nice it's a nice appetizer side dish. All right, it's not the main course. That is kind of. Okay. Right? Very weird uh, sort of metaphor, sort of kind of thing. All right. Uh-huh. Baba Nuki has a plan to capture Luffy. Okay, old mate. Okay, old mate. I prefer Baba Nuki because old mate sounds retarded. Read the official. But, read the official, exactly. But this makes me think that this man's plan 
It's far perhaps, superior to Queen. Perhaps not blinded Christian by pure strength alone. Exactly. A man, you know, not, not as strong as Queen. Definitely. How strong is Old Maid? How strong is Babadookie? Yeah. That's a question. Because we got no evidence. We got uh, zero evidence to say anything. That's true. We got headliners that are part of the Flying Six. What's it going to be? He does have projectiles. The maximum strength possible is like oven level. Okay. That's the maximum strength I'm going to be willing to give you. But Luke's going to beat the shit out of him. Yeah. We got the we got scabbards here. We got Akiyazama 9 here. All right. We got got these red boys here. Kamatsu high. Kamatsu. So this man doesn't stand a chance. Because you're. Let's just get through the points, because there's not much in this chapter. But we'll talk, we'll talk. Babanuki tells the prisoners, get Luffy, help us out, we'll help you. Get, get, Luffy is messed up this prison. If you want more punishment, you got to capture it. Carter's going to fuck you up. Exactly. They know that, the prisoners know that. The prisoners have nowhere to go. Wano, they don't, even if they escape the prison, they don't know where to go. Odin. Wano, 20 years. Odin's death. Yeah. Made them even more. Well, Yasui's death just happened. Man, he was more depressed, yes, Yasui, sad, yes, troubled. Yes. The rebellion was crushed by Kaido Kaido 20 years ago. Is this why the 20 year time jump was necessary? To have this. They're going to be on side next despair. chapter. To have this despair for 20 years. We've been waiting. Alright. For 20 years, it's been despair. Right, but now, Monkey D's here. He's going to show up what's up by beating Old Maid. Yeah, you know. <laughs> All right. Look at the and Scorpion. We're gonna, we're gonna show them how strong we are by beating up guns. <laughs> maybe he uses the Conqueror's heart kid. They're all like, "Here, that's what Odin did." Yeah, maybe. All right. Daifugo shoots the plague bullets at the prisoners. Oh. It great. is revealed that Queen the Plague indeed has something to do with plagues. Eric upset. I mean, no Delphi related. Oh, yeah. As long as it's not Delphi related, Eric doesn't care, right? Correct. This man, apparently a maker of weapons and viruses. This man will play under Dirty in his fight against X, whoever he fights. We'll because play this Dirty. This is the man who made the bombs in Zoe. No, that was Caesar confirmed. Okay. But this is the man. This is the, the, the Beast Pirates are underhanded. They will do what it takes to win. They don't give a fuck what it takes. Hence, the crazy bounty. Some individuals are upset that Queen is an honourable fighter. Why would they think that? Ridiculous. Jack, not honourable, uses gas. Some people say want to say that's a feat. Some people want to say... Uh, you know, I don't should, know. Infinite spin prevails. The spin around Jack's using Now, poison. will there be infinite spin merch? I'm cooking it up. It, has to, it surely has to be JoJo related. Because that's where the meme comes from. It's just going to be Dreads and King of Lightning in an infinite spin. You can't use that likeness. <laughs> we'll work it out. It's going to be... Uh, I'll, I'll get some ideas. Alright, but there you go. It might be Dreads and it's like... Just a picture of Dreads. Yeah. And then it's like... What, what would it be? Well, Dreads doesn't spin. Dreads doesn't spin, alright? Qualified rider. <laughs> just qualified. Well, that's a whole different other shirt. Just, just make a shirt just, with... Just Dritz with Qualified on it? Yeah. It's a shirt with Dritz's face on it that says Qualified. Okay. That's not... That's not a deal for this Maybe we'll run that past the Discord people, see if they want it. I mean... Let us know if you want the Dritz qual- uh, Qualified shirt. <laughs> <laughs> with a stamp of approval or some yeah. shit. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, the Infinite Spin shirt, we'll, we'll talk about it. But the, you know, uh, however you want to spin this Jack's Poison shit, this Queen playing Plague shit. Yeah. Now people bringing up that Jack can do crocodile shit because he's the drought. <laughs> he can uh, he can absorb water because he's the drought. All right. Uh, King the wildfire. But he's drunk, right? Some shit like that. I don't fucking know. Right? Sure. He could suck up the moisture with his extreme sucking powers. Okay. By his trunk or some shit. Uh, then we got you know King the wildfire. Obviously he she she shoots fire in his mouth. And that's obvious. Yes. We don't need to say anything about that because that's obvious. Right? That's an, that's an easy one. That's an easy one for you. Fire Katana? Sure, why not? Okay. Zoro, 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 Zoro's not fighting King, so he doesn't need to learn the fire tech, cunning technique. Maybe Kidamon beats him. <laughs> Kidamon, huh? Completely nullifies his Don't own. sleep on Kidamon. There's Kidamon stands right. out there. All right. 
We're saying he's first commander level. Okay. We're saying he's right hand man level. That's it. That's crazy. All right. So Kyle Matsu tells Luffy that it's okay to tell him the plan. Tell him the plan. Let them feel the hope. All right. This is about hope. All right. Just like Star Wars is about hope. This is about hope. All right. How do you feel about that? Indeed. It's about hope. We're gonna rise the spirits of the nation. Yes. To uh, start this rebellion. All right, because we, you know, you can't, rebellion's a built off hope. If, have you seen Star Wars? It's all about hope. All right. <laughs> have you seen Star Wars Episode Eight? And how mad are you at it? That's, Listen, a, all that's, right. a, that's a discussion for another time. Right? Maybe Dritz should talk about Episode Eight. Uh, I bet Dritz loves Episode Eight. Okay. For all its intricate writing. All right. Well, that, well that's, a, that's a discussion for another time. All right. Raizo throws Kalmatsu his sword. And the key. Last minute, he is saved. He busts out of the cage, uses his Kappa style, sword style. Yes. He's a master wrestler and a swordsman. And we get the design. What do you think about this design? Fun times. It's a fun design. I don't know what people thought they were going to get. We saw in his silhouette, he's a fat, stumpy frogman. Yes. What do you think you're going to get? And people have been saying, all this, all this silhouette, all this hype, all this build up for a bad design. It's a good design. It's not a bad design. Why do people think this is a bad design? It's a good design. It's, uh, it's, it's instantly recognisable. Instantly. Yes. It's a great design. Fishman. Confirmed. Eric's saying Fishman confirmed. No frog hands. That's true. No frog hands. We've got Fishman. We've got webbed hands. Most likely Fishman. People still saying Devil Fruit because he was chained up. But he can still be chained up without Sea Stone. You might have a Devil Fruit as well. He might have a devil fruit. Uh, some of them do. Like, you know, Kidamon, uh, Conjuro. Yes. Ryzo, we assume, has a devil fruit. Right? Sure. There you go. Yeah, because you can't open the sea stone. Uh, uh, what is it? The sea stone fucking prison. Yeah, the sea stone key box. Key box. Yes. He comes out there, does his bit. You know, he's, he's cool. Look at the hype man. You know, he, throw, he 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 mentions that his suffering that he went through was nothing compared to the to the suffering of his lord, loyal. Is this the kind of loyalty you want to see from Sanji? Yes, I don't think we'll see it. <laughs> Locked in a cage for thirteen years, comes out of the cage, nothing compared to the suffering of Monkey D. All right, nothing. Where is he? All right, it's a bit of stealth black action. Yes, coming up in the anime. Will they extend it? Yes. Will people be hyped? Yes. Will people say that the anime is better than the manga? Yes. All right, all okay, the, okay. All the, all all the, right. all the, all, right. the, all the things to come. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so, Raizo and Kiku decide to reveal themselves to show the world that their retainers are still alive. We have to show the people that we're no longer ghosts by beating up these goons. Do you forget to mention that the uh, goons were holding Luffy down? Oh, well, I thought that was assumed. Okay. Right. Yeah. Well, we've got a little, got a little arc and up to do over here. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with that. So, we want to go outside. Can't, we can't let that happen, can we? No. Hey, come on. Hey. Yeah, sit down. There we go. All right. Back, back to this chapter. All right. It turns out that we first we get the six squad panel, and this isn't even a complete squad. Good squad panel. I wanted Jiro to be dead so Luffy could take his place. <laughs> Alright. So Luffy could be in the squad. Luffy the new gen Jiro. Now. Alright. Kiku. It turns out Kiku was a man and... It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. Oda memed Eric. Eric said, it's not happening. He also said, Oda makes... Uh... So, uh, gay character is obvious. That's true. Hello, Those uh, statements are true. But apparently we're in 2019, Christian. I'm just, I'm just hearing the void. The void. All right? Oda, kick you a man, but a, a, a woman's soul. Like well, whatever, says. you know? Oh, well, you know. I'm just annoyed. I was just getting annoyed about all the all the trap memes. Eric. You know? Just stop saying trap. Stop screaming trap. <laughs> King of Lightning. Tier 3 song. But no one... Why are you like? Why is it? I don't understand this meme. Like, you can't enjoy the character because she's a trap. 
That's what King was basically on about. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking? Just what is this a meme, King? Cool mask. Yeah, cool. Will we see David form Kiku? Well, we get we get all the cool cast, titles. Cast your mind back, Christian. To what? Cast what? your mind back to when? Thirty chapters ago. Okay. To the sumo wrestling. Okay. Didn't want to cut. Yurushima. Yurushima, kind-hearted individual. Yes. Doesn't like hurting people. Yes. Put on the mask. Become the demon. Become the demon. Exactly. So let's. Uh, we forgot to mention the cool titles and the legends. All right. right? The mo- the most handsome samurai in in Wano, or the Fallen Snow. Kiko the f- Kiku Kiku Nojo of the Fallen Snow. Yes. We got Rise of the Mist to rival the Fukurokuji. Well, we oh, just found uh, we just uh, found we just found the fight. Robin does get a fight this arc. Oh, it's over. Robin defeats all the ninjas at once. Yeah, but that is not a hard feat. We should get a fight. All right, don't worry about it. Because it's the hopes that Robin's getting a fight before his eyes. Robin's getting a fight. All right, sure. Robin's getting a fight, and uh, you know it's it's time to go in. End the chapter. There you go. There's the chapter. Completely inoffensive chapter. Cool panels. Cool good panels. art. Very good art. No one's talking about the art. Very good art this week. And last week. Very good art. Last week at King Recon. Good time. Great time. Yep. Let me talk to you about the possibility of Hawkins and Law getting skipped in the capital. What do you think about that? High probability. Double-edged sword. Why is it a double-edged sword? Because you won't know the answer to Hawkins' deal. But we already know the answer to Hawkins' deal. You don't. Or maybe he's a secret ally now. That we've all been predicting Watch forever. Watch the memes come out. Law's going to portray Luffy in the, in the final fight. How to get his crew back. Law's going to go on Kano's side. In fact, it'll be the opposite way. And, True, factual. And, and, and Hawkins will join us, Crocs. I so. mean, like, eh, I'm not offended. I just wanted to see how Law would have gotten out of this, or Hawkins would have would have would have done this. I just want to see it. You know, classic. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the only kind of concern I have with this chapter being yes. here. It's just the further away we get from the capital, the more likely. The more likely, <laughs> uh, the more likely that we're gonna skip this bit. All right. Yeah. More likely. So there you go. Ah, uh, I don't know. Seven out of ten chapter. Fine chapter. Not offensive. Break. Brutal. Brutal break. But it's time to film gold. Eric says the best One Piece movie. I say film Z the best One Piece movie. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Now, haven't heard the English version of Guild of Sora. Maybe it's My man Rob Lucci versus Zabo in there. I mean, five okay. seconds worth, but it's there. You can slow down the frames and see, indeed, that Rob Lucci has arm on Haki, which is hype. Right? We'll okay. see film, film Z review. Some people saying that there's a two-week break. No. One true. week break. One confirmed week break. Confirmed by the official. Okay. There you go. Some people... They're just wrong. All right, there you go. There it is. There's a chapter. What do you What do you want us to say? What's gonna happen next week? Surely we'll go back to the capital, or back to the straw hats. Straw other straw hats. Fucking up, dudes. Yeah. All right. Or oh, they've already escaped. Kiku's gonna. Cause it doesn't matter. Kiku's gonna do some shit. All right. Why though? She's gonna cut some goons up. Okay. There you go. You can just see one technique. And the Danduro breadcrumb will begin. Well, we still need two things. Who's Danduro? Who's the Witching Owl Boy? And is the answer to both of those questions. <laughs> what, Kyoshiro? Kyoshiro. No. The, 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 the three meter tall child, apparently. Okay. There we go. So, uh, what's going on there? Who is the Witching Owl Boy and is it Danduro? Yes. Cause that's the only that's the only thing we're missing. That's the only character we have left. Like. Yeah. All right. We're gonna st- we're gonna pause here and sort this out. What's next? The Shanks. The Shanks. All right. And we're back. 
to the segment that we all we all look forward to. The best segment of the show. Let's talk to Shanks. Right. Praise be. Praise be the Shanks. Every week, we come to you with a question. All of them. You know, how strong is Shanks? And every week we say, Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the God King. Alright? But the people out there that are saying, Kaido's the strongest. That are saying, Dragon's the strongest. That are saying, I'm the strongest. And they're saying, Sweatiest man in the One Piece universe. Al Kahina is the strongest. And there are people out there who say, Me Hawk's the strongest. That's a new one. A new blasphemy has arisen. That Drew Shirts would uh, work out well here. Yeah, well, you know. But they're all wrong. Shanks is the is the God King. And every week, we come with 100% genuine factual information. 100%. Approve this. Alright? This week's evidence. Shanks is so strong that his presence alone would inspire the prisoners of Udon. As there is hope for the future, as the God King has returned to deliver justice to the evildoers. As it is said by the prophecy of legend. That has been around for millennia. Shanks is the strongest. Shanks is the God King. There you go. Not red scabbards. What if it was referring to the red haired pirates? That's crazy. Revelations here on the show. Alright. Now. Time for topic of the show. SBS. SBS. Volume 93. Now, Will the Vivra cards ever return? Will the Vivra cards what? be the death of me and data books? Why? What happened? They might be. I'm Why? just saying. What happened? what happened? You know. What happened? You know, people are going to use those as gospel. All right. Well, SBS. But SBS no, is true. from, uh, you know, they're, they're fun questions usually. Anything spicy this time? A couple good a couple good things. We were, were just reading fucking people's favorite okay, foods. A couple good, yeah. A couple, <laughs> good, a couple good meme questions that included. All right. Uh, a couple of interesting things. We got... Uh, who's, uh, who's this translation from? Christian? This is from the One Piece Wiki. Because Arthur hasn't got around to it yet. Arthur. Arthur, it's Arthur. Uh. Question one comes in from someone. When Kaido turned into a dragon, did he f- like float in the air? Oda. Her dragons can fly in the sky by using clouds. So Kaido doing that can generate his own clouds and they walk on the clouds. Cloud to ca- cloud, does that make sense? Confirming weather manipulation. All that kind of stuff. I mean, it comes, comes in part with the dragon mythology sure, of Japan. Sure, but confirmed. Confirmed. Also says that... Uh, what, what does it say? Momonosuke does the same thing. Exactly. So there you go. Interesting. Yeah. It's not it's not only Momonosuke's weird Vegapunk fruit. You know, some people are saying that. So it kind of has weather manipulation. It seems like every emperor has weather manipulation. Their presence is too strong. Exactly. All right. Next question. There's a Tanuki in Otama's house that similar to one from uh, Bankuno Chagama. No idea what that is. I don't think it's named Tamed with Otama's ability. I think there must be many interesting stories about it right now. This is the strangest shit. Yeah. Uh, All man. right. <laughs> So you notice it. It's actually a teapot pot that ate the dog dog model fruit tanuki. Thanks. You just wasted that fruit, Oda. All right. Oda, it's a background character. Now, how did that happen? Exactly. Did the devil fruit merging into items happen in Wano? Originated in Wano. Yeah. Who knows? 
So apparently, this pot ate the dog dog fruit, the tanuki mo. Why would you waste that fruit? All right. On a random background game. Would you want Mario to eat it? Doesn't matter. All right. Like, uh, on a... It's, it's on an unnamed background gag. <laughs> there it is. Alright, no. It's not whatever fruit Mac Vice has. Been hearing that? He actually has this, this nookie fruit. These are the, you know, legends around taking nookies. He's got a tail. I can't kind of shit. No. Apparently it's no, on this... No, Christian, the tan tan fruit gives you the tanuki tail. Okay. Alright. Alright. But so apparently... It comes with the fruit. Alright, now we're in this. Since he's a teapot... That Hitetsu uh, carefully uses after it obtains its ability, it's very close to them. Also, it will feel hot if you put in put it on fire. So it's a pet that can be used to boil water. That can't be used to boil water anymore. So it's just a useless teapot. So it's, it's a teapot companion. Okay. But one more thing, I was hoping someone would notice it, but no one mentioned it. So I will uh, announce it right here. If you look carefully, Mr. Babanuku is actually sitting on his own balls. I can't believe no one noticed it. I laughed as I drew it alone. <laughs> <laughs> what goes on in on his head? What go- what's going on? Why would you waste that fruit on a background gag? Now, people say Oda's lost his spirit. He's died inside. He doesn't want to no. do it anymore. He's laughing about drawing balls. Tanuki giant... He's a, he's a giant child. Now, for people who don't know, Tanukis have humongous balls. Exactly. So, there you go. There you go. Alright, next question. Actual good question. Please tell me the name of Whitebeard's huge quote-unquote sword. Is it a great sword? I did Silver's ask this question. Yeah, that's the Silver's. The Silver's is sending this question straight to Japan. Okay. It's crazy. Maybe. Whitebeard's Nagante is called... Mara... Kugogori, translating to Cloud Cutter. It is a supreme greatsword. Slash Black Blade. That's, that's... <sighs> and now I'm going to say it. Because that's an editorialization. Yeah. That's not canon. A greatsword, uh, one of the legendary swords doesn't have to be black. Shishui is a legendary. Also, White Beard Sword is not black. Shishui is, Shishui is not legendary. Exactly. It's supreme. White bits be uh, not black. So nine more to go. Th- there you go. We got the the originals here, Tetsu. We got Yoru, and now we got this. Sky cut or whatever. Sky cut. Some people saying this wasn't planned. Tashigi didn't mention in Marine Fort. All right. All right. Who cares? This sword. This this sword. Wait, 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 do you mean by some people? Do you mean silvers? I mean Dritz. Okay. <laughs> Someone asked him. He's complaining about it. Okay. All right. Also, Silver's is probably also complaining about it. All right. But... No, he's probably happy that it's a, it's a fucking... Oh, at least we're getting it confirmed. But it's not a sword. He'd have problems with that. So it's confirmed that they're... I don't know, it's Silver's all weapons. Let us, let us know how you feel. It's basically all weapons at this point. Yeah. Kato's sword's gonna be... Kato's club's gonna be one. Napoleon. Napoleon's gonna be one. He's gonna fill it uh, in. Uh, fucking Griffin. It's all... Like, Griff, Griffin... Uh, a Common of, sword. Common sword. I just picked it out of a well, bag. Because the wielder makes it legendary, right? Exactly. All right, next question. Is Nami's happiness punch still worth 100,000 berry? Or did it cost move up as her body became even more developed? <laughs> <laughs> These are the kind of quality questions. This is the kind of time you want to use on Oda. All right? This is the kind of quality questions Oda answers. The answer. The answer. The price should go up. Although a happy party water was not intentional. It's been long since I'm about Alabaster, huh? What a memorable scene. Or uh, thinking back. Or to dodge the question. He's not dodging the question. Clearly, she deserves at least triple as much. 300 berries, a new cost of the happiness. 300,000. 300,000 berries. It's not that much berry. I mean, it's a sizable amount Give of berry. Give her a mill. Milly berry these days is nothing. That's a, that's a lot of money. 300. That's Luffy's original bounty. What, a, a million? 300 million. Well, you said you 300,000. It's 300,000. How much? Would... It can't be 100 million in East Blue. No, it's, a, it's, it's 100, 300,000. I don't know what the trans. What's the, what's the currency conversion? Is it like three grand? Yeah. Three grand. The flashy titties. It's good money, right? It's good money. All right. 
You get like three million dollars. That's a quote. Quote that. It's a great. Right. That's what I'm saying. All right. Next question. I want to ask Oda-san. It's Oda-sensei, all right? Not Oda-san, all right? This man being very disrespectful, all right? When we were in Zoro, Kinemon didn't seem to know what Dende Mushi were, or snail transponders. But when we came to Wano Kuni, we saw similar type of snails, only smaller in size. The new communication methods got discovered in Wano Kuni in those, in the, those the 20 years. Is this the reason why we had the time travel? So this one line in the manga makes sense. Okay. Is this why? Is this Maybe, the reason man. why? <laughs> Eric doesn't Maybe. Know. <laughs> Eric doesn't know why. Eric's still <laughs> looking for the answer that why 20 years had to pass the time for it. Eric's still salty about the time for it. I don't know. What's going on? After. Hey, that poor point's relevant. <laughs> <laughs> it was relevant this chapter. Hey, time travel's relevant. <sighs> hey, remember Lady Toki? She's relevant. We get her in the flashback. All right. All right. The answer, that's right. As Usopp said in 934, this is a pond snail, which is used to communicate in Wano. It became popular during the 20 years when Kinemon and the others were absent. Now it become, has become the, a communication, a common communication method in the country. There is also a light pond snail similar to the video transporters in the snail, but these seem to be a downside that is the wavelength is slightly weaker than the normal trans... Slightly weaker? Ridiculously weaker. Ridiculously weaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about Oda. We got we got transponder scales going from uh, one seven to fucking Marine, Marine Ford headquarters. We got we got reports from Corazon coming in from North Blue to Marine Ford headquarters. We are, we, slightly. Yeah. Maybe there's Dendemushi satellites that we don't know about. Did you think about that? Is that how they're wiretapping every communications? Answer me that. Now, did he confirm here that the, uh, the Orochi, Fukuroku Drew Alliance tapped, tapped the, tapped the fucking no. straw hats thing here? No. Oh, okay. He didn't confirm that. All right. That's the end of the SBS. Let's move on to Stampede. He's getting excited for Stampede. All right. That's it. That's the SBS. I, I got the best questions here and put them there. All right. Funny questions about... Nami. Nami. Uh, questions about the, t- the weird tanuki fruit wasted on the floor. Hilarious. Uh, so sitting on his balls, already laughing to himself in the dark in the middle of the night. <laughs> What's he doing? Smoking a cigarette, you know. You know. That's the SPS. Having a good time. You know, got some good, got some good information out of this SPS. Not completely worthless. Next. Pass it. What do we got? <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you this episode, mate? You're tired. It's it's uh, during the night. Dogs barking, dog making noise, getting upset. Bad tail. A bad tail fight out of you. What do we got? <laughs> what is it? Uh, who knows? All right, I got no fucking answers. <laughs> This is going to be a problem, all right? We're, we're not out of characters yet, all right? We've still got heaps of characters. So... Do you want me to search someone? Well, who... We're going to plug up the holes. From the Dressrosa batch. From the Alabaster batch. Do you have Mr. Four? we got Mr. Four. We also have Miss Merry Christmas. Do we have the Unluckies? No, we don't have the unlock. Oh, fuck. <laughs> low, low. <laughs> the question is low, low, or trash. Uh, now, let me remember. Who do you think the unluckies are? I know who they are. You know who they are. What do they do? Is they a different shoot question. guns yes. and use clams. They use clams. That's true. As, as cunning tools. Why do I remember fucking gadgets like fucking flashes and shit? Yeah, they're like ninja animals, basically. Now, the question is, can they defeat Koza? 
Yes. Yes. The unluckies, the the assassins, of the rogue works. So you're willing to say unluckies low low. Do you know how bad Koz was? <laughs> he gets beaten up by Alabasta guards. He's a random goon. That's true. That is true. So we're gonna have to go low low for the unluckies. Yes. There you go. The unluckies. Some people might say Pompey could beat the unluckies. Yeah. What would you say about that? Yeah. So that mean that means trash, right? I mean, I was uh, I was fucking what? saying that like Pompey shouldn't be in trash. Don't get conquerors hockey. Uh, uh, yeah. Weak will. Weak will. That's true. Knocked out by Conquest. I can see it being a fight with the Unluckies. Let's see the Unluckies maybe winning. She's got a numbing dart. The, the darts are not even deadly. That's true. Could full body beat the Unluckies? No? No. But he, he is the man to defeat Yosuke and Johnny. So, so did you. In one fast move. Yeah. Uh, unluckies low low. Alright, oh, unlucky's low low. They Where have s- some kind of ability. Alright. What about blue? What, what, what would you say about blue jam? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What would uh, you say about unlucky's versus blue jam? Blue jam just has a gun, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it to the, uh, the unlucky. Fuck, blue jam sucks. <laughs> He's like doing this thing for like a couple of bucks. <laughs> yeah. um, committing genocide for a couple of bucks. What was the bull called in Dress Rosa? Usi. Yeah. Usi, Usi. the bull. Copped giant punishment. The terrifying bull of the Coliseum. Taking out New World retards. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Luffy tamed him. Animal? Nah, Animals come are, on, man. Animals aren't no joke, dog. One shot by Mingo. Clone. I mean, who is a one shot by Mingo? Sanji was. That's true. What do, you, what do you think about that? So, Sa- <laughs> Sanji level. <laughs> you know, same feet. Could we go low, low? Or could we go low? We're not going low. Arlong beats his fucking bull. Alright. What are you talking about? Low, low. Zeph beats his bull. But, Spandam oh, yeah. doesn't beat this bull. Does Koza beat this bull? Nah. No, no. <laughs> absolutely not. He gets gored and dies. <laughs> he is the legendary creature of the Coliseum. It's true, he does take out a lot of goons. Taking out goons. Got hit but with that fucking giant attack, not dead. That's a feat. That is a feat. Is it more impressive than the Sphinx in, in Baldea? Nah. It's gonna have to be low, low. There's no way this Usi's beating. Now look at look, look, look what we did. Look at what we accomplished <laughs> this way. <week. laughs> we, we did the unluckies and Usi. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> there it is. Look, look, the power scale. Uh, we're running out of characters. Send us characters that we don't have that are interesting. Please. All right. I'll have a link for the spreadsheet to make it easier for you. All right. There you go. Now, it's on, on to questions. Yes. Now, I'm going to make... And this is going to be a painful for Eric. What? He's upset. He's tired. What? What's the problem? And we got 60 questions. <laughs> Where'd these questions come from, Christian? Discord. Discord. Stop put. All right. You gotta stop doing the Twitter the Twitter th- link. Why? Massive pain in the ass to get these Twitter questions. Because Twitter sucks. All right? Okay. So we're going to cut out the Twitter. Twitter sucks, that's true. Twitter sucks for getting questions, all right? You get, you get Discord, Community Tab. The comments in the comment section. Alright. Uh, where else? Email. That's open. Sometimes I come in. Sometimes I come in. And every time they tell me about them. I tell you about them. Alright, there you go. You can submit your questions. We're going to answer them. If we miss them, we miss them. Complete human error. Don't be breaking my balls about not getting your question. Alright, right? we don't... Uh, we don't, we don't you know, throw out any question. Either. That's true. At, uh, so at some point, we're going to have to come up with something. Cause it, well, look at the rest of this document. It's just questions. It's like six pages of questions. That's fine. Right. Christian, it's about the people. It's about the people, exactly. We're going to answer the questions. Now let's get into the questions. Questions. First one comes in. Sondi Lollipop. Always asking questions. Always here. 
I knew knew a member. Okay. But he's always asking questions. We appreciate that. All right. Since we're seeing all the worst generation team up against Bullet in the new movie, I truly believe we will not see it against Kaido. Your thoughts on this? I mean, that's true. We'll really see Kid, Law, Hawkins, Apu, and Drake. Rob Lucci. Talk about Gap. Rob Lucci. Is that a supernova? Uh, Wait, did you say supernova or worst gen? Worst generation. Uh, Zabo. Who else? Who else is going to be in Wano? Do you get mad when Brago says Sanji's also a supernova? He's doing it for a meme. Okay. Just to make sure it's a meme. It's a meme. Just to trigger Zoro fanboys. Alright. Just to trigger you be like, so, Sanji's not in this supernova. Look, it makes no sense that Luffy fights Kaido with at least... Like, it, it makes no sense a solo fight. We know that. Everyone knows that. Yeah, uh, Oda, Oda knows that. You need l- at least Law and Kid. Sure. Alright, sure. is, that, is that his question? Where's his question? Alright. Our thoughts on that. Where can we get all of them here? Because they're not all here. Simple. Prediction for the movie. Okay. These characters will do nothing. And Luffy will fly Bullet. I mean, it's kind of crazy that Bullet's so strong. Like, he's fucking like... Yeah, 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 yeah. He's fucking like Admiral Plus. Oh. He's got like fucking Fujitora here. It's cool, huh? Oh, he's fighting Zoro. Buster Cole apparently coming in. Alright. Next question from Abu Seal. Spicy question. Eric might get a little upset. Give it to me. After disappoint... Are you disappointed in Oda's writing? I feel like the story has gone too big for him to handle. I'm okay with him using plot to move the story forward. But it feels like he does it too much. For example, Big Mom sleeping after she gets her memories back. It's too much. I guess it's too much. Is it dumb? Yes. This is the first time we heard of her having narcolepsy. Well, that's not true. We saw the fucking uh, couple of purple chapels go. I'm falling sleepy. I'm getting tired. Big Mom does what she wants. All right. And Big Mom has been in the story for a few years now. So also... I know Oda wants to save Queen Powers for a 1v1 fight with someone to destroy her crew. That's not happening. But crew, but Queen knew he was going against an Emperor and decided not to go hide. Oh! <laughs> Why do people assume that Braku and Bomber is not his most powerful move? It's an assumption. And it's also an assumption he has Haki. Okay. I said this last week. You'd want You're size saying. on Big Mom, right? You probably want size. Queen confident in his attack. Apparently, he thought he could get the job done. Did he kind of got the job done? Kinda, sort of. Against, and uh, then decided to go with hockey. So I feel like Oda is not a good storyteller. What do you think? False. The comment about the, the the world getting too big doesn't really hold water for me because this is a uh See Abu Seal, how can we say Oda's not a good storyteller? How can we say that? When we have This story. The entirety story of This uh, stupid uh, this insane world that somehow works. How can we say that Oda's not a good storyteller? When we have Alabaster. When we have Water Seven. It is not we. When we have a report. You know, we have Zara, we have Hulk Hakai, I see uh, Hulk Hakai. We have... Katakuri. Katakuri, we have Reverie. Do people forget Katakuri? <sighs> Many people say the best character in One Piece. Many, Kata- I'm going to say, I'm I'm say this right now. Many people. Katakuri is a better character than anyone in Naruto. There you go. Okay. There's my spicy hot take for the week. There it is. Oda, Oda literally just got done writing Katakuri. But Beautiful. poor convenience. Eh? But poor convenience. It's got nothing to do with his character, Christian. A fantastic character. Now, uh, back to the question, right? Yeah. Is the world too big for Oda to handle? No. No, because the examples of where people's upset has nothing to do with how large the world is. It has to do with how strong the characters are. It has to do with the... The uh, uh, the circumstance in which things happen. 
Yes. Not mismanaging of the world. Yes. Okay. The final question that he is asking. When you guys have one million subs mm. and one million questions, we remember the OG originals and uh, get their questions in first. Define OG original. What's we the talk kind of- about Monkey D, Sparrow, Christian. We talk about Return of the Slab. We talk about Andre. Farrell. We talk about... White Bear Beppa, where is he? He's around. He's lurking. We talk about Jose, Christian. Where is Jose? Okay, he's around. Where's Andre? Where is Andre? Where is yeah, Andre? People get busy, Christian. They, they fall behind. Don't forget about the boys. Right. We don't forget about we the boys. We don't forget. All right. All right. We don't forget. Of course, we've got the Patreon fellas over there. Right. So, we'll, re- we'll rep you even better. You should subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash the Red Force the Red Podcast. Podcast. There you go. From uh, Malope uh, Fasha. Do you think any short hat will eat a double fruit? No, it's too late. It's too late. Yeah, it's too late. It's too late for this. Oh, not, what happens to Nami eating the snow fruit? What happens to that theory? Did not. Um, what happens to Carrot eating the snow I fruit? I've got a question for you. What <laughs> happens to Carrot <laughs> becoming a straw hat? I have a question for you. Christian. What's that? Do you think someone will make a super cut of you reading all these names? <laughs> I mean, at some point. <laughs> The people know I think. You know, like reading the same name different like 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jack, Jack or D Dragon knows that first hand. All right. All right. All right. Next question from Mount Tank Tall. Marshall D Teach versus Bullet. Who wins and what is the difficulty level? But Blackbeard was his face in Emperor. What do you mean? With the Quake Fruit. People forget that. Quake Fruit, Darkness Fruit. I mean, it's, it's a bit diff. The one two combo. It's a bit diff. Let's see if it's on a low diff. How strong is this man? He's probably first commander level. I don't know why we need every supernova to fight him, but how do we do? I don't know what they get. It's a treasure, Christian. That's Will true. there be a village that they have to save on this island? But it's their island. I mean, someone's going to sell the merch. Yeah. So there you go. Is there a seedy underground they have to save? Yes. From JDT. Hey guys, keep up the awesome work with the podcast. I've got a couple oh, of questions. How many of the top 12 swords will there be in Wano? Is this swords? Is this <laughs> uh, a couple more. One more. It's the end of the series. Just fucking shit him out. Who will have it? Orochi? Orochi's going to have one. You can imagine Orochi would fucking stole Odin's. I don't know, fucking Kaido's mace. Carter's base. I'll his base. It's called the head beater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what it's called. All right. The skull cracker. Sure. All right. Uh, next question. What will the last panel act to be? The straw hat reunion. Banquet scene. Banquet scene. Which I've been yearning for for many years at this point. When is the next YouTube reverie? Well, it had happened already. Did it? Live in LA. RRL. Did it? Been, was it streamed? What happened? Yeah, it was streamed. Uh, was it boring? It was some questionable decisions. Like what? I don't know why. Did it happen? I don't know. It did happen. I didn't even see it happen. You were... It was yesterday. You were somewhere. Somewhere mysterious. I wasn't anywhere. On Roger's channel. Alright. Shout out to Roger. Shout out to Roger. Uh, you had to be an LA to, to get on the Reverie. I imagine the next one's in the end of the year. Okay. Sure. Probably hosted by Braga this year. <laughs> Toy Boys are doing it. It's probably going to be hosted BDA by BDA Law who hosting it. B- B- BDA Law. Who is BDA Law? That's a good question. Who is BDA Law? I heard he's Braga's cousin. I'm uh, sure. So, there you go. Uh, that's, the, that's the next Reverie. There it is. Roger put on an event. At his house. Apparently, he came through with all the, uh, all the food he promised everyone. All the pizza and shit. Yeah. Did he read all the donuts? Ah, uh, Roger's a professional. Okay, right? that's all I'm gonna say there. All right. From OG side of the sea, do you think Kiku will actually be somewhat strong? I mean, define somewhat strong. You know. She's got a cool mask. Veteran level. Right. Okay, it's for oven and shit. It's like the level below Commander. Low high. Did you say Sanji level? 
That just, that just annoys people. That just lights the flame. Uh, low uh, high. I'm going to say low high. Look at the power scale. Carrot too long level. Carrot too long level. Okay, Sanji level. Let's go. Whew. It's spicy. Do you think Kawaii 2 is actually just some sort of fishman or so, or is someone something special going on? Uh, probably just a fishman, right? Fishman or straight up just a fucking animal? That's just alive. Huh? It's just, you know, as a soul. Sure. Alright. From Rogi Hote D the third. Has an arc in the anime ever, ever been better than the manga? I'd have to be a pre-time skip one, but are they are any you? Are there any you enjoy more while watching? For me, it would be Water Seven and Shibondi. Shibondi is pretty good in the anime. Water Seven's good, and his lobby starts with a shit pacing. Feel like weird shit pacing. There's always weird stuff that people forget in the anime when you just go back and look at clips. I'm gonna say no. Eric's gonna say no. There you go. Um. I mean, certain aspects, sure. Like the fights. You know, white beard doing shit. I mean, yeah, like, you look at the Katakuri fight, right? Yeah. And the, the last fucking scene. The last episode, The sure. last episode of our fight was tremendous. Exactly. But everything in between. Unbearable. Especially that CG water. With the big mum fake light over the top of it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Why? Very bad. Why do they insist on CG water? Surely it doesn't save more time. It doesn't. Uh, they might have the, the fucking rendering in the back and shit. They might have the video already rendered. And they're just superimposing. I'd imagine that's what's going on. This is the Sea of Thieves level CG water. <laughs> <laughs> Garbage level fucking CG water. Next question, question. I hope we answered the main question. We did. Oh, we did. We're not off. Okay. From uh, Quidine. Is Kamatsu's character design trash? Does it live up to the hype? Do you think Oda's goofy character design are getting redundant? This man's a Kappa man. I don't know what you expected. No, his designs are still as original as ever. Everyone just wants every character to be Katakuri. But Katakuri's special because there's only one of him. Yes. The one high man. Not every samurai in Wano has to be a each character. Apparently no one is. Or a Naruto character. I mean, Kiku's got a cool mask. Why are the people talking about that? Kirishiro's cool. Kirishiro's cool. Uh, I don't know what Kano's a mean man. Kano's... Just a man of muscle. You got king as well. His arms are as long as his entire body and legs. And big. <laughs> and the size, he's one of his arms, like three times the size of his head. Yeah. He's right? a big boy. It's you a big got boy. king as well. He's edgy. King's edgy. You got kid in this arc. Sure, you got kid. But Karl Martu, I get it, he was silhouetted. Okay. But what'd you expect? I expected something like this. He's got personality, which I I think it's a great design. Christian. I think it's See, a great Christian, design. The design lends head to great personality. I like that, the yeah. That's that why I like the, the design. Page. That's All why right. it's a good design. Portrays the personality. Portrays what he's about. What his skills are. Can look cool still. Sure, it looks cool when he busts out of the cage. Does his spinning attack? Yep. It looks cool. I don't know what people's problems are. All right, so it's, it's a cool design. All right. Uh, what's next? From Calvin T. Long time question asker. The anime opening low key spoiled Kirisha being Dinjiro as he is shown with all the other nine red scabbards. What do you think about this and does this put a red to the Zoro fighting him? I'm gonna say for now is not confirmed. We, there's so many questions if it's true. 
There needs to be some illusionary shit. We got we got so many questions to answer if it's true, but there you go. Maybe he's the maybe he's the traitor. From all from all that time ago. Who knows? It makes no sense for there to be an Odin traitor. The way he the, the way the man's been set up, he seems like no one would ever betray him because he's such a great man. Well, Orochi fucked him over. Not his not his own man, surely. I don't know, but that's the kind of question we have to ask. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I doubt it, but All we'll right. see. From uh, Josh, Joe Shell. He was an underworld boss. Ah, whatever. You guys mentioned Still Ball Run last week. Wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. People knew who he was before he was the fucking Kirishiro. Hio? Hio knew Kirishiro. How could he be Denjiro? Let me think about that. Because does it... Because what was what did Hio say about Denjiro? Shinobu, while talking about Hio, mentions Kirishiro. Yes. And what did she say? He is the new Yakuza boss. What was he before? Not stated. Okay. So, there's still questions there. I doubt he's Denjiro. People are fucking taking this out of proportion. I don't know. Right. A lot of questions have to be answered if it is true. Right. From Joe Shell. You guys mentioned Stillborn Run last week. I've been wanting to read it, but the only versions I have found are rare, uh, Japanese and French. Do you know somewhere I can get an English version? Unfortunately, we are nowhere close to getting an English release of Stillborn Run. I don't think we even have a Part 5 manga release for JoJo. Which is crazy so, because it's in the anime. Oh, uh, yeah, it's crazy. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to the fan translations. And I recommend a little website called JoJo's Colored Adventure where you can download the entire Still More One series in full color. No option here. A great trans. There's, There's no, no option. option. There's no option. We're not going to get this. We're not. We are, it's going to take 30 years to get this translated. Get the lessons in Japanese to read Steel Ball Run. Is it worth it? Or you go to JoJo's Colored Adventure. Is it worth it? Fan site. Non-profit. All good. All right, do it. Read the greatness that is Steel Ball Run. Experience the Iraqi greatness. All right. From Dev. What do you think the likelihood of Kyle Matsu being one to show Luffy deflection is? So the, the, the Ryu. Is he the true Yakuzuna and a samurai since Hiyo said all samurai know the technique? It would make sense. Uh, he knows how to apply it with his bare hands as a sumo specialist. I feel like Luffy's easier fight, earlier fight with Yurishima is made more important for this reason. Good, good comment, good question. I, su- I, I can suspect so. Well, he does some sort of shockwave. Maybe a wrestling match with uh, Luffy and, Yush- and uh, Kamatsu. Well, he does some sort of shockwave attack when he first breaks out of the prison. Everyone goes flying. Yeah. Maybe that is Ryu deflection. I could see Luffy being like, oh, you're sumo, let's sumo. I could see it being possible. Why not? Hiyo knows it. Uh, apparently all the samurai know it, so... Well, Luffy needs to train. Kamatsu a good training partner. Exactly. In Sumo. From Eric Oromo. Hello, I enjoy you guys' content. First question. Are you guys fond of Carl Marx's character design? What that we've got on this chapter because I am I am and I've heard uh only disappointment, so I would like to hear some love towards Carl Marx, but everyone is right to their own opinion. Well some people are wrong and you have to call out those people. That's true. Uh Carl Marx, great design. Don't understand the meme. People want edgy shit. People always want edgy shit. It's a good design, Christian. It's a great. I'm gonna say it's a great design. Instant recognizable. Yeah. Unique silhouette. Unique yeah. character. Potential. He's got the cool scarf. Potential unique expressions. And emotions. This weird dark mouth. Very good. I like the character design. I don't know what people's problems are, but there you go. Question two. Favorite JoJo character that isn't a JoJo or Bru- JoJo. King Bro. the Wildfire. Very bad design. <laughs> very <laughs> bad. Why do you hate it so much? Too much black? Can't see anything. 
He's a man in a black suit. He's a kid a man. Spike mask and black wings. Uh, according to the anime, they're white. So it doesn't even matter anymore. Not the not clear at all. No potential for emotional facial expressions. Maybe that's the meme. Okay. Queen, uh, very good. I don't know about very good. 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 All right. Car- uh, fucking car. What about those meme faces for Queen? I mean, they're pretty standard meme faces. Don't really mean faces. Classic. All right. What about Hippo Man? <laughs> the world's saddest man. Yeah. <laughs> Living in a nightmare. Well, you should just take him out of his misery. Yeah, he really should. Someone should really take him out of his misery. All right. The second question. Favorite JoJo character that isn't a JoJo or Joe Bro? Mine is... Uh, Koi- Come on, man. Koichi. Koichi's a Joe Bro. Or Mr. Mr. is a great character. Also Joe Bro. I mean, Joe Bros are like... What does that even mean, by the way? Paul and Nefa... Does it mean like right-hand man situation? Caesar... Does it mean like Brodo and shit? Yeah, oh. like right-hand man. Dio. Brando. What's her name? Fuck. Lisa Lisa. At least Lisa's a mentor character. Favorite side character. I'm gonna say that. Say it from the side character. Wait, it's a question. Side character. Well, it says no JoJo or Joe Bro, so it's gonna be side character. All right. Yeah, Mister. <sighs> okay, Dio. There you go. Uh. Maybe. <laughs> no, you I can't remember her name. Just answer the question. Uh, Funny Valentine's wife. Part seven, great character, great character development. Would you say it's a good part seven? Is good? What would you say? Part seven is good. I'll say part seven is a masterpiece. <laughs> okay, I would say it's good, right? Get that straight. All right, maybe part seven can melt Drew's ice cold heart. He doesn't, he's not gonna read it. He says he is gonna read it. He says he's on the, on the journey of the JoJo journey. Did he start it? He says he's gonna start it. We'll see. We'll see if he actually does it. See if he's a liar or not. Okay. That's a cool one. Alright. From Christon Chris Chris Thon. It's literally Chris Thon. Alright. Majors. If not Kirishiro, who is Zoro going to find in Wano to further his journey to become the best swordsman in the world? Also, how strong do you think Kalmato is? Since he is the strongest super wrestler. Alright, strength of Car- so Zoro, who's Zoro gonna fight if not Kirishiro? King. Or someone else. King t- tag team king fight, sure. And now, what do we think Karamash is strong? Ashra Doji, Commander, Veteran, is somewhere there. Who the fuck knows? We're not gonna know until they find someone. So there you go, that's a that's how strong Karamash is. A big a big question mark. From left jab. Do you think the whole Izo in Wano theory is shattered because we found out Kiku is a male? Correct. Also, due to last week's chapter showing Queen Ship, do you think we'll get a fourth All Star considering two ships with a figurehead represent All Stars and one of them is a Scorpion? I mean, the Scorpion ship's a meme. It's a Scorpion ship, it doesn't mean anything. Could be the Scorpion man we see the Da Fugo. Da Fugo. Da Fugo is fleeting. Da Fugo. Da Fugo. Who okay. knows? Uh, yeah. I don't know why people were so hell bent on Izo. One of the most forgettable side YB commanders. We talked about this. It's such a deep cut that it's not a reveal. So deep. It's such a deep cut. So unnecessary. It's like, it's like predicting Fossa is going to turn up. Who gives a fuck about Izo or Fossa? But you would call a W if uh, Fossa does turn up. <laughs> I will take it. Alright. Alright. That's right. how you're going to play the game. So, yeah, it's, it's a game. All That's right. true. From Odd 10, t- 10 out. Do you think Oda will introduce Yoka as a separate species in this arc? Ugh. No. What does that mean though? Like everything's always explained by Delphi Fruit. We see it with the Wano people. They call Delphi magic. 
Eric was a little bit confused about that. Until we go into work. Oh my god, come. Saying rise our heads up. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. That's fucking you. <laughs> <laughs> it was you, alright? Don't fuck oh. with me. You always do this shit. People get the footage. Uh, if it exists. Uh, alright, what's the question? That's the question. All do you right. think there's yokai? No. Is it going to be yokai race? No. It doesn't make sense. From Eric. How could you be a mythical race of different individuals? Well, how do fish, you know, fish don't work, so, you know, All mints right. don't work. Fine. We can give birth to different yokais. Alright. From Eric Blackmore. Did I just read that? <sighs> yes, I did. From, uh, Malab Faz Fazasha. How strong do you think Karl Mato is? Again. <laughs> strong. Alright, Luffy has not commented that he thinks Karl Mato is strong. Not that strong. So, not Kira strong, apparently. So, there you go. Not Luffy strong. Nah. 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 We're pretty good. Luffy, third strongest man in Wano. Is that real? We've got Big Mom, we've got Kaido, we've got Luffy. Strongest man. Or strongest person. Man in terms of the, uh, the collective. In the in terms of a per race. I meant person. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Third strongest. In water currently. Oh King Strong up. Oh King Strong up. <laughs> <laughs> you know that kid has uh awakening? And, uh, <laughs> yeah. He also knows Rio. Next from, question. From his extensive training with Scopic Bond. <laughs> Next question. From Aspen Log. Question for the show. Who's in the 100th episode? Taekwon better be on that list. No, not on the list. All right, Taekwon added, kicked out. Episode 100. 20 weeks away. 20 weeks away. And did the year special. Yeah. Eric still has not sent the King of Lightning trophy out. It's on the shelf. It's on the shelf. There it is. There it is. Eric still has not sent the trophy out. come here if he wants it. The King of Lightning. Uh, episode 100. I imagine uh, we're actually going to do the clip show. So no, we're not doing a fucking clip show for episode 100. Memes. Memes. Are you going to do the research? I'm going to do the research. No, you won't. People are going to send in clips. I'll start gathering, start gathering, start saying moments you want in episode 100. We're not doing a clip show. Well, we'll, we'll have a segment. We'll just put it out. I'm not having a clip show for the episode 100. Next question. We'll do a segment like Eric's worst calls. That's all we'll do. And it'll be the time for it didn't exist. It'll be Kiku being a, being a man yeah. is stupid. It'll be uh, Rizo not having a double fruit. Your techniques. dumb calls aren't on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I could, I could just, and then it would just be in Christian Fest sitting moments. Yeah, like, I could see it happening <laughs> both ways. There you go. There it is. From Port Seed. If you guys think that Luchi will find Zabo at the end of the series, do you think it'll be fair to rescale him to high? Maybe uh, Kaku to low high. Personally, I think Kaku could throw down with Daifuku. That's a pick. I mean, we scaled... Rob Lucci conservatively because we've got no idea. We do. But we can imagine him being some sort of stupid, like, animal level uh, fighting Zabo. Sure. Okay. I think it's possible. Why not? Now, I don't want to alarm you. But we're only halfway through the questions. Keep going. All right. From Jordan Lee. Is Diablo Jabe a form of Rio? It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. No. Next question. From Jordan Lee. Great podcast. Question corner. What do you think will... will what, what do you think could be the biggest plot twist f from now to the end of the series? From Goda. I personally hope One Piece won't finish its final arc in a cliche way. Well, the uh, plot twist is a twist because it's unpredictable. It's true. Um, let's just throw out stupid things like, 
I'm having a mystical cabal of Yonko class enemies. All right, for for the straw hats to fight. For the straw hats to fight. Because all the straw hats are going to be emperor level, uh, plus according to druids. That's what he said. That's what, actual. That's not taking it out of context. That's what he said. Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, uh f- cool twists. They're in the matrix the whole time. It's that's a why. Dream. The, that's why the void sentry is important. They unplugged from the matrix. And now we get one PC in the Matrix world. No, nah, he's a Terminator. That's crazy. Um, the time fruit comes into play. <laughs> <laughs> Never will. <laughs> it's going to be the most random point of One Piece ever. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty good meme. All right. Next question from Abu when, Seal. When, the, when this series is over, people can be like, did you know that there was a time for it? That's like a tidbit. Oh, another great twist. Blackbeard having three devil fruits. <laughs> Fantastic twist. I mean, not, not a twist because it's confirmed. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it's 100% confirmed. Yeah, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. Happening. All right. From Abu Seal, Do you believe Big Meme will remember eating Mother Caramel? No. She never has when a Big Mom ate place. eat her, when Big Mom ate her, uh, she did not know she ate her. True. Was she was in a weird psychological tra- trance to realize what was happening around her. My argument is that Big Mom will not remember eating Mother Caramel because she did not know she did in the first place. True. That she cannot remember the event that happened. What do you guys think? We've been saying this for weeks, Abu Seal. Years. Pay attention. <laughs> Months. <laughs> yes, we agree. Um, we agree. The only way Big Mom un- remembers, quote unquote, is that giant or Struson. Pudding grabs the memory from Struson. And he or the giant, it. and he plants it in Big Mom's head. A Joy Boy classic, dumb theory. Next question. From one jump. If Luffy gets arrested by the world government, who will come to save him? Other than his crew, of course. Zolo. I said other than his crew. Zabo. Zabo. Alabaster. Fishman Island. Uh, Alabaster. Pal. Wano. The unkillable man, Pal. Katakuri. Will come. <laughs> Alright. Katakuri. Uh, Najiko will come. The buggy lines will come. Dalton. Shanks. The most important one. There you go. To defeat Imu's Secret Cabal. Secret Cabal. Yes. Or Hype Men. Alright. Is that my favourite? That's going to be my favourite theory. Imu's Secret Cabal. never seen a lot of day. Imu's Secret Cabal. Was that in the neck to neck? No, that was on straight. Okay. That was deleted. I, I, I was on that stream. Okay. So, I don't know if it was deleted or not. All right. Second question. If post times keep straw hats uh, participate in the refort, can they change the outcome of the war? Yes. I mean, it's all up to Ace, really. Luffy only won. Luffy would be able to knock back Akino in some regard. That's cause of personal opinion. He would some. probably be a, he'd probably be able to jump in front of okay. I mean you can fly gear four, so you know. Yeah, that's also a point. He might just waltz in King Kong the fucking platform. See what happens. I say yes. I th- I still say it's all up to Ace, because he's still gonna get baited by Al Qaeda. But Luffy's probably fast enough to intervene. But Luffy fine. Luffy would intervene in a fight. Yeah, but he'd be fast enough to actually act. So Ace wouldn't have to jump in front. Sure, but Ace would definitely be severely wounded. I don't know if he'd die. Well, that's a bit, you know. I think it's all up to Ace. I don't know. Question. All right, next question from Captain Said. Question, do you think... Do you guys... You guys said in the episode that you assume Luffy will fight al Qaeda. The way I see it is Luffy will fight Blackbeard or Raftal. Luffy finds the One Piece, a gigantic wall that it boils... The world starts since the treasure was found, as Whitebeard said. 
Uh, from here, I don't really know, but there's a good chance that Luffy fights Alcadu. Like you guys said, if this fight versus Alcadu happens, it is all that that Alcadu has to be Yonko level because I don't see Luffy low mid low or mid diffing him. I don't think Oda would do that, and it's kind of <sighs> anticlimactic. This is the whole end saga fucking thing. So hard to predict. So hard to know. So many characters. So many caveats. Yeah. So if you guys don't see Alcadu as a Yonko level, uh, then when do you think this fight will happen, and when will Luffy have a high diff fight against him? Well, the question is, will Luffy fight him? Will Zabo fight him? You know, get the revenge for Ace. The Ace will Zabo with the flame fruit overcoming okay his lava. I think a legitimate option, and I would have to like make it so this happens mm. via some regard. Yeah. Blackbeard and Navy team up. Okay, he's not doing that. You know, okay, he's not doing that. He might, though. He won't. To take out the pirate. He is a pirate absolutist. He's not doing that. Absolute justice. There'd there'd have to be a few hoops. Unless unless the Iron Cabal comes out. He's not the world government. Exactly. Al Qaeda isn't the world government. Maybe Al Qaeda leads the uh, revolution against the world government. Because they negotiate with pirates. Okay. There you go. From. See, Why well. is he still in the Navy when the wallet system still exists? Seems like it goes exactly against his character. And why does he still insist that it exists? Do I say say it's so? Alright. Right? Come on, Oda. government pig dog. From... <laughs> <laughs> from see, wow. Come on, Oda. Why are you going to do Big Bob so dirty? Wait, did you know our kid is a hard man? And tough? Yeah. <laughs> but has to listen to a bunch of old men. <laughs> there you go. So he's been on the planet for a reason. From Sea Wells, why are you gonna do our Big Mom so dirty? That's the way it is. It just happens to fall asleep. Give me the rocks flashback. All right. From Jacko D Dragon. So who was the person on Twig Capes that uh, that? Clover, that it wasn't Clover. It was, it's fuck. Who was it? it? Wasn't Clover? No, it was not Clover. Fuck, you know the doctor. Yeah, was talking to if Karl Marx spent thirty years in prison. It wasn't him, just some guy. Probably Yorkie, as they say, as the meme goes. He's too thin to be Kawabatsu. There's, lot, there's lots of characters in the story that look like they're from Wano. Why he's too thin to be Kawabatsu? He's not Kawabatsu. He doesn't have web heads. He's too tall. He's too thin. He's he not should too, be, he's too thin. Yeah. He should be in jail. Yeah, it's not Kawabatsu. Right. From White Wolf. Do you guys think... What do you guys think of Chopper so far in Wano? Because to me, he seems so useless so far. Uh, been thinking about this, do you guys think it might occur later on a... Or on or before the alliance leaves the prison, maybe Momo or Tama gets hit by the plague bullets, or any other character will be affected by it. Yeah, Chopper will be involved in curing, curing the, the plague. Smile or the plague. What's Ch- Chopper? You know, he's there. He does some. Not really doing much. Does, does something sometimes. You know, that's the way Chopper is. What was the last hype thing he did? Frankie House? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe his fight against... I mean, Monster Point, yeah. Monster Point, exactly. That's the last cool thing he did. It's been a long time for Chopper. Yeah. The boy, alright? Maybe he uh, gets a fight sometime. Alright, from Keiko. Oh, from Silvers. Did Silvers get his hype design? Because he's talking about Kawatu. Now, on all of Kiku's mask. Sure. Sure. Whatever you want, Silvers. Whatever you want. It's up to you. Alright. With the announcements of Pirate Warriors 4, which was said to never be coming out. By who? I don't Some know. history, I guess. Alright. Do you see a possible Burning Blood 2 in the near future? Burning Blood 2...
I can see a world seeker too. I can see a Bernie Blonde two in the far future when Wire is done. I'm talking about Kaido. Oh, they're getting that merch out fast, Christian. You'll have a like One Piece game. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty is is Pirate Warriors. Yeah, you'll have a Wano game in twenty twenty. I'm guessing Pirate Warriors. Is There's game. no doubt about it. You reckon Kaido's gonna be playable in Pirate Warriors four? Yeah. Make the Mickey Maker move set out of what he's got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could just have him. Big Bob's gonna be playable. Shanks is playable. Katakuri. Katakuri's gonna be playable. Yeah, I hope so. You would hope so. Ah, hey. uh, you know, we've talked about this before, but what they just need to make Shonen Jump Smash Bros. They should just make a good game. That's true. All right, from Keiko, would you dye your hair red from the for the God King cosplay? Now. It would have to be, we all know Shanks' hair is red from the blood of his enemies. That's the only way to get that red crimson. Okay. Right? From the blood of his enemies. Similar to Punish Snake. I guess. <laughs> Christian's physique is primed to do a Shanks cosplay. I don't like that. Yeah. This will work. Right. Good, you got the beard situation going on, though. I think Eric's hair is more primed for the redhead checks. Uh, it's a little bit longer, you know. A little bit longer? I think it's about right. Okay. Uh, if I was going to a redhead shakes cosplay, I'd go deep. Deep. Because you got to pay respects to God Get real King. clothing. You're not that cheap. Real clothing. Shit. Get absolutely jacked. Cut my own arm off. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Dye my hair red. If I was going to do a God King cosplay. Because you got to do it respectfully. And you got to do it right. And if you're not going to do it right. Don't bother. Alright. There you go. Let's respect it. For Majin. Do you think the next chapter will be about Udon? Or will we go back to the Flower Capital? I want to go back to... I think it's going to be half-half. Okay. I'll, I'll say that. Second question. When is Rayleigh going to be put on high high? That's a good question. <laughs> when we get... <laughs> when we see what When we does. get more feats. We already assumed he had this technique. We're going to see what Flo does to Kaido. If there is law that, indeed, Rayleigh was the one to give Kaido the scar, then it's a different question. <laughs> okay. Different question. Some people say really it was Emperor Some people would be definitely wrong. Uh, Who's what's Riley Prime? What's Roger Prime? So Riley Prime Emperor Plus. They're in the, uh, you know. Riley Prime Emperor Plus. I told you the spin goes. You have to create your own category for the old emperors. <sighs> that are like nineteen times stronger than the ones we have now. You know... What, what is this man's question, anyway? That's the question. All right. Next question comes here from Guts Smash Casca. Faint Patreon supporter. If you guys could have any YouTuber on the show, who would you pick? That we haven't really had? <laughs> sure. King Recon. We already had King, we had King Recon last week. I have King Recon at any time. Who is the guest? I think the answer is something stupid. Like, you know, PewDiePie, just to get those subs, you know. <laughs> I think that's the answer. I mean, can we have the God King himself, Shanks, on the podcast? He's not a YouTuber, though, Christian. He's a god. He's a god of all, all realms and all no, possibilities. I have to respect his name. He's a god, god of all realms and all possibilities. Next question. Next question. From Lord Zarkon. Now we know why Queen is called to play. Do you think... Uh, do you think... What do you think gave King and Jack their names? My head cut is Jack is the drag because in his, in his beast form, he drank all the water in a country or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we'll be me this at the start of the episode. <laughs> I told you people were talking about it. Alright, King. I don't know, he didn't say anything about King. Alright. 
Yeah. Uh, what was the question? Where did they get their names? Uh, what do you th- what do you think gives them their names? I think oh you know Jack Jack uh, destroyed exhumed the moisture through the ground, causing a drought through his skin, through his trunk. Okay, and uh, King just uh, breathed fire. Sure. Yeah. Last qu- last page of questions. From Badger. Do you guys are you guys gonna play the Zora DLC? For One Piece World Seeker coming out 12th of the July. What is this ad? This is an ad? This is man work for, uh... Okay. Could you already said Bandai? That. No, I said no. Why did I say no? Because Eric still hasn't put out the last episode of World Seeker. Audio is missing. Audio is missing. Audio is missing. Audio is missing. What do you mean you can't find I it? I can't find it. I can't find the recording. Or the audio. That you didn't did. put it in the folder. I looked. There's no audio. For us, yes. There's game audio. There's game audio. There's gameplay. There's no audio. It's like it's lost forever in the annals of time. It's a meme. There you go. Well, One Piece Ball Cycle will never be finished. To be continued. Alright. From uh, Red Robin Podcast. What is your opinion on the direction of new One Piece anime opening? A new anime OP for Wano. It feels more dynamic and inspired uh, compared to the typical Straw Hats running in Fishman Island outfits. Slash slideshow of villains and allies. Also, how big do you think Kiku is? First question. This opening better than 90% of openings. Why? Animated. What? It's animated. It is animated. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Two... It's got a good song that isn't pop rock bullshit. It's boy band bullshit. Real song by a real artist. I appreciate it. Okay. And it's got, that, it's got that one piece energy. Unlike Hope. Unlike Superpowers. It doesn't have Zoro doing the stupidest slash of all I mean, time. It almost does. What do you mean? Zoro does something to hype. Alright? No. It's ugly. There you go. Next question from Frankie Senpai. Also known as Anthony? I think it is Anthony. What would you guys like to see or Karamatsu's Colors? What? What would you guys like to see for Karamatsu's Colors game? Uh, Blue, green. Note the thumbnail. Eric says the thumbnail. I agree with that. I want to change the hair color. Well, what hair color you want to do? Let's go. Let's go a turquoise. He's let's, already blonde. Let's match up the colors. Okay, whatever. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's give a super same. I'm trade. sure it's gonna be black or something. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It could be any color. That's, that's true. It could We're be. Gonna, any oh, color. it just like looks at the copies and goes. No one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. From Badger again. Do you believe that the anime has spawned manga readers with a new intro? I mean, yes, kind of. Manga readers, Eric. He's talking about oh, the manga. old Kirishiro being Denjiro. No! <laughs> it's also not Flo either. Flo's, <laughs> suppo- Flo's supposed to be... In a single point. <laughs> Unnecessary haki in a single point. Why what? is his body covered in it? I don't know why that's a spoiler because... We already know he ha- he's getting it. Was that how's that spoil? I don't know. The samurai are paired up with the samurai of Wano. Pretty clear. Next question from uh, good old Dylan. <laughs> All right, what's the question? No question. All right. Just a name. Sorry, buddy. Missed the question. <laughs> Christian fucked it up. That's strange. All right, from Thunderbird. Yeah, because these are fucking Twitter questions. All right. This is what happens. All right. Maybe Dylan is Thunderbird. Maybe he's Candle's Thunderbird. I've got no idea. Twitter's the worst. All right. Is he a new race or a mixture of Fishman? Mink and Fishman. I'm going to say just Fishman. Does it really matter? No, it doesn't. For some reason, King Lion thinks it matters. 
uh, massively. What did he say? Half fish, but half mink. No, what did King say? Half fish, but half mink. How does that make sense? Why, though? <laughs> <laughs> When because you say the characters are, what's what's mink about? Because it has to happen. What's mink about it? Because he's a frog. But he's not duck. a frog. He's got webbed hands. He's a frog duck. That's why he's half fishman. There you go. Have you seen fishman in in Fishman Island? They freaks. Yeah. All right. Have you seen Van Der That's a bad character design. Yeah. Oh, he's a dodgy fuck. So I guess it's a good character design for that kind of dodgy fuck character. All right. All right. From Ravi, do you guys feel? I imagine that Kamatu's race will never be addressed. It's probably just Fishman. Unless the full moon happens and he tries. Unless we get a Vivi card. Sulong Mink. Crazy. Another one. Sulong Kamatu. What? He's he has to be Emperor level creature, surely. All right, all right. From Ravi, how do you guys feel about Act Two overall? I hope that Oda just uses this act. Uh, to set up 90% of the plot points for the war because it was uh, dragging in the prison the last few chapters. I feel in the fatigue now. I feel like the big end is near. It's not that near, though. We're, like, still That's the problem, look, though. Like, things are happening we're, still. We're still going to get Luffy out of the prison. Yeah. We're still going to do the law It's shit. fine. It's a little bit draggy at this point. Yeah. But, you know, we're gathering people. At least we're doing something. Act 2 overall, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Alright. From Sir Anime. Is Karamoto's sword slashes similar to Tenjiro from Demon Slayer? Now, I can't answer this question because I've never seen Demon Slayer. Don't know. So, don't know. And that's the last question. Oh, Christian. What an episode. Full of hilarity. Full of... Memes and Memes. Bits by the staff, Patron. Join the Patron. Uh, subscribe. SoundCloud. Subscribe to the channel. Like this channel. Uh, film gold next week. Yes. We appreciate the people listening to the show, Christian, very much. We very much do. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Thanks to Good King. Thanks to Good King. There you go.